here, here's the narrative, all right? So pen's ready, microphone's on, let's talk real life and where we're at, all right? Um, I want to get one thing real straight. I'm going to win here. That's going to happen. We're, we will win. Okay, this is a turnaround. Any way you slice it or dice it or want to look at it, this is a turnaround process. And unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I'm built for this because I've been in a whole heck of a lot of them my entire life. I want to go back to the year 1997 and 98 when Larry Smith was here. All right? His ass went and fought for 14 years and finally broke down the wall. Okay? He did it. All right? And there's a lot of people that went and sacrificed and did a lot of things to get that turned around. But I was part of it. I was in the locker room. I saw it. I was a captain. I know what it takes. Okay, fast forward, 2004. Everybody wanted to run Gary Pinkle out of town. Okay, that's pretty damn foolish. All right? Because he did, all he's done is become the winningest coach in program history. That was a turnaround. It took time. Okay, that's where we're at. Okay, it's a turnaround. And I don't like it. I want to win right now. But that's not the hand I'm given. We're doing a lot of really good things in this program. Our kids are working extremely hard. We're not winning games yet, but we will. I'm the man to go get it done with this staff, with this team, with this program. There's not anybody left standing after 2015. All right, I am. And I know what it takes. You talk about dark days. I heard that over here walking across the street. I've seen a damn dark day. July 12th, 2005. Okay, Aaron O'Neill, that's a dark day. All right, this ain't dark days. This is when the going get tough, you build in together, you fight together, and you go find a way to get it done. And that's where we're at. It's part of a turnaround process that is not going to be easy. Our team knows that. I know that. Our program knows that. Okay, but I got a guy that's the third team left tackle from Rockbridge High School that's got a Twitter account, he's got 12 followers, and he wants to put out how, how terrible we are. All right? That's the way this society is, that we go and we read and we think, oh, my gosh, Missouri football, is, we're this and we're that. We hadn't won yet. All right? But I got a group of guys that went over to the hospital yesterday that took care of a kid. Okay? I'm building the future for this football team and this program and our kids' lives that they're going to go be successful in the next 40 years of their life. They're going to have adversity in their life, and they're going to go back to this point on how they respond. So I'm good. I've got a platform to be able to go build it. I know what I've got in the locker room. We're going to win. That's going to happen. I want to fast forward a little bit longer. 2012, went to Memphis. Okay, maybe the historically at that point was the worst program in the country. All right, 2012, we won four games. All right, 2013, we were a hell of a lot better, but we won three games. So everybody think, oh, they went backwards. No, we didn't go backwards. We were better in a lot of spots. And then 2014, we were lined up, and we won 10 games. Won our bowl game, won a conference championship. And at the end of the year, there wasn't anybody in the damn country wanted to play our ass. I guarantee it, because we were playing the way you're supposed to go play. It was a turnaround. Justin Fuente did it. I was part of it. Okay? So, and then fast forward to 2015. Okay? That was a tough year. All right? That built me for who I am today. That built our program. We're going to get there. All right, that's the narrative, that's the turnaround, that's the state of our program. I'm disappointed, I'm frustrated, all the above, but I'm in right where I want to be, building this team with a whole bunch of guys that want to go do it the right way, the right way in every aspect of our organization. That's about all I got.